Hey, welcome back uh, to all y'all people listening to us and watching us. This Alabama weather is about to get me under the bus, if you know what I mean. Hot one day, cold the next. I can't handle this. I get too old, just like the colonel, you know, with the walker. But with that said, let's get on into what we got to talk about today in Coach's Corners. The XFL controversy and roster updates. Oh, this is going to be good. With that said, thanks for watching and making the show the most viewed on the Lotus Sports Network for the for two straight weeks. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I really do. It, I, let us know what you like about the show and stuff. You know, send us an email. Uh, shoot us what y'all like. I mean, we'll do more funny stuff if you want to after the colonel gets better because, you know, he's the long snapper and everything, and I'm just a coach. But with that said, I also picked up coaching this year. So, <laughs> hey, uh, XFL controversy, Orlando Guardians. Dun, dun, dun. Quarterback, quarterback Quentin Dormany was released by Orlando Guardians for allegedly sharing plays with the opposing teams. So basically, they fired him. The next day, the XFL stepped in and placed Dormany back on the Guardians roster until the league completes its own investigation. So again, they got to have evidence to fire you. You know, <laughs> they can't just how you fired. <laughs> but with that, that's a big allegation. And, you know, this could hurt his career if it really did happen. You know, no other team's going to want him because you're going to think, hey, he's sharing plays. But hopefully the league figures out what's going on, gets it all correct, and gets it situated. Uh, let's look at the USFL roster transactions. Uh, on 3-4, free agent signing Clayton Bradley from USA UNLV. He's six foot six. 310 pounds. That's a big old boy. Uh, he played at USC from 2015 to 2019. He uh, graduated a six year, six years of eligible. He was granted six years of eligibility by the NCAA at UNLV uh, in January 2020, and then the super senior season of 2021. Clayton Brandy is going to the showboats. Good team to go to. Uh, on a 3-6 free agent signing, uh, linebacker Treshawn Hayward from Arizona slash Western Michigan. He uh, 6'1", 235 pounds. Another big old boy. He is going to the Michigan Panthers. But uh, in 2019, <sighs> Matt, MAC, Defensive Player of the Year at Western Michigan. And he is a good-sized boy. Uh, Treshawn Hayward. I hope I said that name right. If you're watching, don't come beat me up, please. But <laughs> uh, another free agent signing, you have D. Ali Hayward of Western Michigan, 6'2", 250 pounds. He is a defensive end. He is going to the Philadelphia Stars. He uh, played in 2022 for the Toronto Argonauts in the CFL. Uh, he's a Grey Cup champion in 2022. He is an MAC Defensive Player of the Year in 2021. And he is a first-team first All-MAC in 2021. Hey, that's not bad. <laughs> I know I ain't done none of that stuff. But with that said, on to the next one. We got a free agent signing for the new uh, Oiler Breakers. Uh, a 3 6 free agent signing. OG, I cannot say that first name. Washington from Southern Miss. Good old Southern boy. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But so they picked him up and they released uh, Clay 
Lagut, and I, Merrick. He played at Mar well, uh, Marak. <laughs> uh, but they did pick up a, a on 3 3 free agent signing. They picked up a kicker, Matt Cullen from Michigan State. And he's a nice, pretty picture of him. He's got a good Kentucky waterfall going on. Actually, I think that would be called the Carrot Top Waterfall. <laughs> but with that, we got some more uh, some XFL roster transactions. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, the Arlington uh, three-team trade. Arlington Renegades received wide receiver Javier Payton from Tennessee from the Orlando Guardians. Uh, D.C. defenders received tight end Alex Ellis from Tennessee from the Arlington Renegades. And Orlando Ga Guardians received uh, offensive lineman T.J. Stormont from Texas Tech from the D.C. defenders. You know, uh, Orlando, this this might actually help, help them out. We'll just have to see. But on to the next one. Uh, they see defenders in the Vegas Vipers trade. Uh, they see defenders received offensive lineman Antonio. Uh, man, there's so big names. We're just going to say Antonio from Troy. Uh, uh, the, Vegas, the Vegas Vipers received uh, DB Joshua Allen from Miami, Idaho. Hey, you know. Ohio, my bad. Not out of <laughs> But, hey, you know, getting the trades in, I like it. Uh, you know, getting this, hopefully these guys get some playing times on these other teams. But uh, on to the next one. Uh, uh, y'all scan the QR code up here. It'll take you to the uh, – y'all can get some Coach's Corners merch. You can get some Sprain Loaded merch. You can get some Bruce Brian. You can get some Yellow Hammer merch. You can even – Help us raise money for uh, the children's hospital and everything. We have a shirt on there for them. You know, get on there and help them kids out. You know, the children's hospital does good things, and they're going in the right direction. Buy your coach's corner shirt. You you can see there. I had some. Uh, you know, I'm wearing mine now. Eat, sleep, coach's corner. Repeat. It's nice, comfy. Brings in the pecs, if you know what I mean. The ladies love it. But uh, I got to stay classy, coach's corner, y'all. Uh, and then I've got to just a regular coach's corner. Uh, hey, the chicks dig a coach's corner shirt. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, but with that said, we'll get on back into talking. Or is that all? That is all, I think. But with that said, we'll close it out. We'll wrap it up. Y'all stay classy. I love you. Let me know what y'all like about the show. Uh, we'll try to do more of it. And, hey, y'all keep watching. Tell your friends. Y'all see me out. Say, hey, what's up, coach? And, hey, thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. I salute y'all. Uh, doing that. Uh, y'all keep the colonel in y'all's prayers. Uh, hope he recovers. Lays off the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, Bill, if you're listening, don't get in touch with him. Let him recover first. Uh, I'd like to thank my producer, Wayne. Hey. And everything. Hey, these guys do a lot. I'm just I'm just the funny man. But hey, with that said, y'all stay classy. Like us, love us, share us. We're out of here.